Well, members of Congress are fanning out across the state, taking their campaign pitches to the voters with less than a month to go before the midterm elections. And the hottest race in New Jersey is still the 7th District, between two-term incumbent Representative Tom Malinowski and Republican Tom Kane Jr., who's faced scrutiny recently for declining interview requests from the press and for giving little notice of his public appearances. So it may come as no surprise that one of the hottest tickets in town this week is a debate between the two candidates, the only time they plan to face off in person this election cycle. Senior writer and projects manager Colleen O'Day joins me with the latest. Hey, Colleen, so what is happening with this debate? Where is it taking place? We know our team really struggled to get uh, these two candidates to agree to a debate, so why is it happening now? So this is going to be held by the Gateway Regional Chamber of Commerce. It's uh, in Clark at the Holiday Inn. Um, but don't show up if you don't have a ticket because it is uh, it is sold out. The Gateway Chamber has been doing debates like this for 24 years. So it's not that it's kind of a group that's come out of the blue. It's something that is a tradition for them. But it, it, it is just kind of uh, coming, I, I think, into the um, everybody's consciousness this year because it's been so hard to see at least Tom Kane out in public, you know, just mingling with talking to regular folks and and talking to the press. First of all, is it common for tickets to be needed to a debate? I mean, you have to pay like 40 bucks to get into this thing. Um, and what are the parameters that have been set that these candidates agreed to do this? So, you know, it depends on the date, debate. For the most part, you know, I think we, we think of debates that are free and open. You know, we've conducted many of them ourselves in the past. You've needed a ticket many times, but you didn't have to pay for it. You know, in this case, this is a group that's having this forum at a, you know, at a Holiday Inn. Uh, there is a breakfast being served, so that's what the money is going for. It's going to focus on in the economy and, and, of course, inflation as part of that. Um, this was this is a bit a chamber of commerce, and so this is kind of you know their thing. What what their members are really looking for, which is a discussion of the economy. Uh, there are going to be five main areas of focus, uh, but no campaign knows what the questions will be in advance. So I wonder, Colleen, does it register with voters if candidates aren't holding public events, if they're not holding public debates? Does it even move the needle? Uh, because we've seen a much different election cycle this year. Yeah, you know, I'm not sure. I think it, it certainly does with a certain um, segment of the public, probably the progressive section mostly. Um, with Republicans, it might embolden them because you know, we, we had a president who was very anti-press, and I think some of that has certainly, um, you know, worn off onto their, um, onto the supporters. So there's, I think, the MAGA crowd, and, you know, certainly that's part of who Tom Keene is looking to to get to vote for him, um, would, would agree, yeah, don't talk to the press because we can't trust them. Well, let me ask you about that, because there is a big get out the vote rally planned this weekend for Tom Kane Jr., but it is closed to the press. Um, we don't have many details. What do you know about it from your reporting and who is it really looking to attract? So, but I know it's it's happening. I believe it's in Belvedere, New Jersey, and the uh, the headliner is Rona McDaniel, who is the chair of the Republican National Committee. Um, you know, it's it's a get out the vote rally and these things are kind of like high school pep rallies. It's all rah rah. There's no, there's really no discussion of issues. There are no hard questions. That's what we know. Are for the course for what we've seen so far. All right, Colleen O'Day, thanks so much. Thank you, Bree.